Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm just making a nice basic curry. Robin's coming, Shelly's coming. We're going to have a nice lunch with roti and sly and a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> and we, Shelly. Shelly, you want to say hello? Hello. Are you? <laughs> there we go. And now I'm going to start the food so we can have a nice lunch. Okay, in between everything else we're doing. <laughs> okay, without further ado, just a, when you see your meat has uh, is a nice with a few pieces of fat and you obviously throw less oil in or you can throw no oil in. It's entirely up to you. Yes, just like one to two tablespoons of oil in here. This is some cinnamon sticks and some cardamom pods this is to your taste and i have some leftover curry leaves if you don't have curry leaves you don't have to add it no? okay so this is three onions and two jalapeno chilies now um when i have one onion then i chop it myself one or two but if it is more than two onions i put it in the food processor with chilies and all and there we go Okay, guys, so the onions, oh, you know, fall like I'm for all the onions. Look at that. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. The onions have gone for about five, ten minutes on a medium heat. Now I'm going to add um, a teaspoon of salt. You, you don't have to add it now. It's up to you. Depending on how awake you are. <laughs> and then I've got about a kilo of lamb pieces. Okay, now I'm going to add some ginger. You can add to your taste, teaspoon, two teaspoons, a tablespoon. That's also up to you and also what you have available. This is about six, seven cloves of garlic, freshly grated. I have on the side here of my masala spice, it's three to four tablespoons. And if you want, you can add, in your curry, I always say a tip, you can add a little biryani masala if you like. And there's the other spices. Remember, you can get my spices at uh, on my website, at so many <laughs> shops all over South Africa. And the other day I went to Casey Kenilworth Center Pick and Pay and they stocked up again. So they'll get and buy for December. Before they all sold out again, order your spices. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> the box. <laughs> okay, now this is gonna go so for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, while the meat is going here. Yeah. I'm going to peel the potatoes and I just uh, realized there's one, two extra people. So when that happens, guys, stick extra potatoes out and you fill the pot. No? About two, three potatoes, you take out more. And you make extra roti or extra rice. And then you spread the food and more people can eat. Okay. Guys, now I'm going to throw in some water. How far did you stop it? 
Будет карам, легко Now we're going to cook this until it's almost halfway tender. Yeah, halfway. Okay, guys, it's been 30, 35 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to add some turmeric, my masala, three to four tablespoons, depending on you. And then I'm just going to add, this is really optional. Don't freak out. It's just like, out. A teaspoon or two teaspoons or a tablespoon. Woo, you know, for a deal. What can I make all the time? I'm falling all over the show. Guys, it's that time of the year. We're just tired. So I'm going to add a little dark soy. Here we go. A teaspoon or and a bit. Okay. Give it a stir. So what's that gonna do? Just gonna give it a darker color and just a more depth of flavor. You don't have to do it, but just look at that, how it changes. Yummy in my tummy. Looky, looky. So you got this Deep, deep, dark orange, reddish, brownish color. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to just give it a quick taste. Perfect. Um, I'm going to let this just braise for a little bit. Ten minutes. And then I'm going to add the potatoes. Add some water. Potatoes cook until soft. Add some dania. And then the food is done. So guys, what I do at this stage, I cut a piece of meat off and then I taste. Mm. Nice and soft. In with the potatoes. I like to add some coriander, dania, cilantro now. You don't have to add it if you don't like it. Nice stir. And now we'll cook until the potatoes are soft and then the food is done. Okay. About 20-25 minutes depending on how big you cut your potatoes or how small. Okay. And there we go. And I'm going to put some water in here because there's a clump of apples. Whoopie daisy! And now in the meantime, I want to make like the slime and everything else to go with it. I must still go to the shop to get the stuff for the milkshake. But just the shop here opposite. Take a walkie. And this will simmer. I'll put on the timer on medium, medium to high heat. Put on the timer for... I'll make it 25 minutes. There we go. And we'll be right back, guys. Easy peasy. Okay, guys, the food is done. Well, kind of. But, um, there arrived a few extra people outside. They're helping me with, you know, getting ready for the TV show that we're going to shoot here in the kitchen. So... There was extra helpers, so now I need to make this pot go further. Now, I normally don't add beans to a food that has potatoes already. But yeah, I'm going to do it now. Butter beans, two cans. And then I'm just going to cook this so the butter beans gets nicely into curry. And that is our almost all recipes 
got created. What's available, what you can afford, uh, your personal taste. And there you go. Let this just cook. More coriander. Again, if you don't like coriander, don't add it. Everyone has a choice. You are free to decide what you want to add in. <laughs> so that's the curry. It's going to cook for another 10 minutes for the butter beans to get nice, all that flavors. Then I'm going to dish up. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to dish up for them now outside. Nice curry. The richies in the dish up. Mm. I'll just show one liquor so sarah. Lekker atapol, lekker vleesie, lookie lookie, lekker moos en I'll give them two rooties each just in case they want more, it's on a cool drink, it's hot, but you sly. Okay, and that's the meals I'm making for uh, the people working here, hope they enjoyed it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, <laughs> and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. Love you guys. Bye bye.